For me, one of the most interesting projects in the Big Lottery Fund's People Power Change Initiative is that with the uh, Media Trust, who are setting up uh, news hubs and a network of uh, citizen journalists and reporters. And I was fortunate enough to bump into Adam Perry, who is Development Manager for Community Voices, and uh, who is developing um, Newsnet for the Media Trust. How's it going? Uh, well, it's going, it's going well so far. I've been touring the country interviewing um, you know, citizen journalists, people practicing some form of either community reporting or citizen reporting, citizen journalism, whatever you like to call it. Uh, and we've had a, a really terrific response and some great interviews which we're beginning to post up on a blog uh, on the mediatrust.org forward slash newsnet. Um, and, you know, really like people to look at that and give us some feedback, tell us what they think, uh, what questions we should be asking people. I'm going to start posting a list of interviews I'm going to be doing uh, over the next few months so that if people are interested in getting particular questions asked around business models, um, around, you know, the theory and practice of citizen-led media, uh, you know, I'm really keen to hear from people. Um, people use different terms, community um, reporters, citizen journalists, I'm using social reporter for somebody that, that works across networks as, as well. Um, what do people feel comfortable with? I mean, there's good news and bad news in having the journalism tag on you, I think. That is a brilliant question. And I can tell you, 90% um, of, of, of the people I've talked to, um, you know, of those 90%, 50% probably prefer not to use the term citizen journalist. 50% of them never heard of the term. Uh, I spoke to one woman who, who was running a community newspaper, said, never heard of it, just done some research, really like it, feel it's validating what I'm doing. But, you know, it's, so it, it's, it's kind of, it's an interesting one. I've, you know, and I don't really have an answer to that, and I don't think I ever will have an answer to that. But, you know, we use citizen journalism as a kind of a catch-all, a bit of an Americanism, I know. But, you know, I, I prefer to think of, I suppose, at the end of the day, of just citizen-led media because, you know, I want us to embrace photography, video, blogging, audio. I mean, whatever people are comfortable with in terms of telling stories from their community. So this is about people who are helping their community find their voice in, in whatever way they, they do. And I guess the other issue is that of of news and having been a print journalist way back I know how uh, kind of destructive news values can be it's about conflict and it's about crisis and celebrity when really in community building we want celebration and collaboration and so forth so where do uh, citizen-led media people get their values from that's an, that, you know again it's an interesting area to look at because I think you know the What's, well, the stories I'm being told are that we want, we want to focus on really local stories. We want to focus on the positive stories as well. And you know, their view very much is, you know, we're going to leave the kind of ambulance chasing, you know, to the, to the kind of, you know, regional print media because they, that, they tend to see that as a staple of, of, of that particular sector. And so the kind of citizen-led media, the values seem really built around community, around causes, around, around really kind of promoting positive messages of, of, for those communities. I mean, that's, that's genuinely what seems to be coming back. And, it, you know, and it's, I, I mean, I know there's a social enterprise in York that's just started, determined to change the face of, kind of reinvent local media, one another. Very, very much an editorial policy that revolves around positive news from the community. Well, that's very encouraging. And are you finding more than you expected? There's so much out there. Uh, if I live uh, to be 100, I'll never, I'll never cope with it. You know, I'll never meet everybody. I'll never interview everybody that wants to be interviewed. You know, but it's, it, it is truly amazing. I mean, what's out there is truly, truly inspiring. And, you know, it's, this is a job that uh, I'd have been very sad not to get. Fantastic. And is Media Trust going to help network people as, uh, you know, rather than just being a kind of group broadcast point, if, if you like? It's a great opportunity for some community building amongst the community voices people definitely definitely i, I mean to, from from my personal point of view the broadcast side is is you know kind of rather at arm's length what i'm really interested in is the community aspect and and i think fundamentally what people are what's coming back is that people are really interested in being able to connect with 
others, you know, practicing some form of community media, community journalism, so that they can kind of build those networks, be able to ask questions of each other, find out what's working, what's not working, how they're addressing issues within their community, how they're addressing issues around the practice of citizen journalism. So that's, yeah, that's one thing that we really, really want to build. So anyone that's interested in that, uh, what do they do? How do they get in touch with you? Uh, well, they can uh, email me at uh, adamp at mediatrust.org. Uh, they can go on to the um, mediatrust.org forward slash newsnet and get in touch with us that way. Uh, and, I and I really would like people to get in touch. And if, if they're running a project and I haven't approached them and they think I should come and interview them, that's the, those are the people I'd also like to hear from.